provided a portable oxygen concentrator as part of your oxygen therapy. The portable concentrator works by drawing in air and separating the oxygen from the other gases using a filter system. The filter traps some gases but allows oxygen to pass through. This oxygen, now up to 95% pure, is delivered to you via your nasal cannula to assist in your breathing and ability to get out and about. A portable concentrator is small and lightweight and will enable you to get out and about as much as possible. The representative from your home oxygen service provider will have set up the concentrator as per your home oxygen prescription and will leave it ready for you to use. It is important that you do not alter the flow rate settings unless you have been instructed to do so by your healthcare professional. The main features of the device are the on off button. You press the button once to turn the device on and press and hold for one second to turn the device off. The flow control buttons. By using the plus or minus buttons, you can change the settings shown on the display. Remember, you must not alter your oxygen settings unless instructed to do so by your healthcare professional. The display backlight button. If you push this button, it turns on the display backlight for better illumination of the device settings. The backlight turns off automatically after 10 seconds. The display. This screen displays information regarding the flow setting, power status, battery life and errors. The indicator lights, a red light indicates a change in operating status or a condition that might need a priority response. A flashing light is a higher priority than a solid light. An audible signal, a bleep, indicates a change in operating status or a condition that might need a priority response alarm. More frequent bleeps indicate higher priority conditions. We will now look at the filters and connections. The particle filters. These keep out dust, dirt and large particles. They must be kept in place during concentrator operation to keep input air clean. Your nasal cannula connects to this outlet for oxygen delivery. Power input. This is located at the top of the device to one side. This is the connection for external power from the AC power supply or DC power cable. I will now demonstrate how to use your portable concentrator. Place your device in a well ventilated location so the intake and exhaust vents are clear and unobstructed. Ensure that both the intake particle filters, those with the blue plastic surround, are clean and correctly installed. Ensure that the battery is installed. Slide it into place at the bottom of the device until an audible click is heard and the latch securing the battery to the device returns to the upper position. This device can operate from AC, DC or battery power. You should always ensure that you keep the battery properly inserted in the unit. If you want to operate via AC or mains, you should connect the power plug into the mains power and then connect the output plug into the device. The LED on the power supply will illuminate and a bleep will sound from the concentrator. If you want to operate via DC, for example a car charger, then connect the DC power plug into a 12 volt power outlet or auxiliary DC power supply and then connect the DC power plug into the device itself. To operate the device via its detachable battery, install the battery by sliding it in place at the bottom of the device until an audible click is heard and the battery latch returns to the upper position. Connect your nasal cannula by fitting it like this and ensure that you get a good seal and tight fit between the tubing and oxygen outlet. Turn on the device by pressing the on off button, a single short bleep will sound. Following this, the device takes up to two minutes to warm up. When powered up, the device retains the previous setting it was used at. If you need to change the settings, 
use the plus or minus buttons. But remember, you should only do this if instructed by your healthcare professional. Position the nasal cannula on your face with the soft prongs sitting inside your nostrils and breathe through your nose. The device will deliver a pulse of oxygen when you inhale through your nose. A green light will flash on top of the unit each time a breath is detected. Make sure the nasal cannula is properly aligned on your face and you are breathing through your nose to trigger the device to deliver pulses of oxygen. When you have finished with the device, press and hold the on off button for approximately one second. When you are out and about, the device will operate from battery power which will discharge over time. You will therefore need to monitor the battery status and keep it charged as required. You can clean the outside case of the portable concentrator by using a cloth dampened with a mild liquid detergent such as washing up liquid and water. Do not use excessive amounts of water and damp clean only. Do not put the device in water or allow water to enter the case as this may lead to electrical shock and damage the device. It is important to remember not to use cleaning agents such as alcohol-based wipes, ethylene chloride or petroleum-based cleaners on the case or particle filters. Regarding the filters, these need to be cleaned on a weekly basis to ensure airflow continues to enter the device during operation. To clean the filters, you will need to remove them from their location at the bottom of the device. Now clean the filters with water and washing up liquid. Rinse the filters in clean running water and allow to dry before replacing the concentrator. I'm now going to cover some safety points. This list is not exhaustive, so it's important that you are familiar with the safety advice provided by your home oxygen service provider. Make sure that you do not adjust your prescribed flow settings unless you have been instructed to do so by your healthcare professional. Keep the concentrator upright. Make sure that the concentrator is at least 10 feet, 3 meters away from naked flames such as open fires, gas fires and cookers. And at least 5 feet, which is about 1.5 meters away from other heat sources or electrical appliances. Do not use oil or grease and make sure that your hands are clean and dry before using your device. Do not cover the device with clothing or any other material and ensure that the air intake filters and the exhausts are not blocked. Do not operate the device while standing in water. Always ensure that you have access to a power source to recharge your device. Only use the power sources that have been supplied with the device. Protect the battery and power adapters from fluid spills or drips. Do not leave the device in your car overnight. Smoking around oxygen is extremely dangerous and may cause clothing, hair or skin to catch fire and burn more vigorously than in air. So therefore you must never smoke or allow someone else to smoke whilst you are using your oxygen concentrator. This applies to smoking with traditional and e-cigarettes. I will now go over some problems that might occur with your concentrator. But if you have any concerns, you should contact your home oxygen provider for some advice. If you have no power, it is possible that the battery is not installed or it has discharged. So install the battery or replace the battery with one that is fully charged or plug into an external power supply. It could also be the AC or DC power supply is not plugged in correctly. So you should check the plug at the outlet, power supply box and at the device itself to ensure it is plugged in. If you have no oxygen, check that the device is switched on. It could possibly be that the tubing or cannula that you are using is not properly connected or kinked so make sure you check the connections. For any problems that you are concerned with, 
you should turn off your device and switch to an alternative source of oxygen therapy, either a static concentrator or backup cylinder.